Hey guys, it's Pastor John, and actually what you see here is my testimony. You see, uh, my parents, they shared the gospel of Jesus with me when I was young. And I, uh, I felt guilty, even at an early age, for sinning against God and decided to follow Jesus as my Savior and King. I gave my life to Jesus. Now, I did grow up as a pastor's kid in the church, and I knew all the Bible stories. I was actually pretty good at church. But while I was really good at church and getting the right answers, I was also dealing with a lot of guilt and shame from the, the sin in my life. Uh, I was a follower of Jesus, but I, I never made my faith my own. I was more interested in things like video games, uh, money, and satisfying my own selfish desires than I was in, in actually what Jesus wanted me to do with my life. I never really even gave it much thought. Um, when I was in high school, I went to a youth conference where I actually realized I had been living um, with one foot in the world and, and one foot in the church. I had this like mask on and when I, when I should have been uh, having both feet just following Jesus, completely dedicated. And at the time, I actually made a commitment to Jesus that I would go wherever he would send me and do whatever he wanted me to do. And when I made that commitment, my entire life changed from that moment. Uh, I was a new person and began to find my identity in Jesus. Uh, instead of experiencing the guilt and shame of my sin, um, the guilt and shame of the sin of my life, I began to experience the love and forgiveness of God through Jesus. Look, ever since, my life hasn't been perfect and, and life hasn't always been easy even, but, but there is a joy and freedom that I've been able to experience no matter the circumstance. One of the best ways to serve others is by sharing Jesus with them. Um, but for many of us, that's pretty intimidating. So, uh, we, you know, we don't want to come across as pushy and we're worried people will be offended when we talk about our faith. Uh, however, one simple way to share Jesus with other people is to do what I just did right here. It's by telling our own stories. Uh, we live in a culture where people love hearing stories. Um, other people will be way more likely to listen to you if you tell them about how Jesus has transformed your life in a personal way. Uh, people want to hear that story and they can't be offended by it because it's your story. So here's my challenge for you. Create an emoji testimony. Using only 10 emojis, tell your story in a way that you think others will understand. 